Tonight, North Queensland is on high alert. Cyclone Imogen making landfall, tearing buildings apart and dumping floodwaters. And the deluge isn't over yet. Cyclone Imogen's fury. The rain sideways, the wind screaming at 100 kilometres an hour. Mornington Island residents were confronted with 190 millimetres of rain, so heavy there were sheets of white, horses ankle deep in water. The Category 1 cyclone making landfall at 9 o'clock last night, crossing the coast at the town of Kurumba. We're just very, very lucky that it was a Category 1 and not, not stronger. Daylight showing the extent of the damage, snap trees blocking driveways and roads, metal sheets torn from the town's Barramundi Discovery Centre. The heavy downfall hammered through roofs. The power went out yesterday afternoon. 260 millimetres fell at Normanton, but the mayor thinks they got off lightly. A lot of tree damage and there's a bit of property damage, but structurally everything's quite good. Imogen downgraded to a low by 10 this morning, but the storm is far from over. North Queensland now on flood alert as the low moves east, bringing rain and lots of it. As it moves, it will bring widespread falls above 100 millimetres per day, and we could potentially see falls of up to 400 millimetres in total over the next 72 hours in the region. Creeks and rivers are already overflowing, this just west of Georgetown. Inland, waterfront views from the bar at the Enersley Hotel. They expect to be isolated for at least a week. Nobody can get in here, all the rivers are over the roads and the bridges and that. In Cairns, flash flooding outside an Earlville shopping centre today. Waterways and waterfalls overflowing, prompting more calls to emergency services. Leaky roofs for uh, people in, in houses, the sandbagging of, of, to stop flood water from coming into those houses. In Townsville, the sand is ready for bagging. Disaster management teams on standby. Anxious residents keeping watch. We're just waiting. We watch the bomb a lot. Whatever's in store for the coming days, emergency leaders promise Queensland is ready. Queenslanders can be guaranteed that we are always ready to deal with any flood, any circumstance really, because uh, we are well rehearsed. Ebony Cavallaro, Nine News. Katarina Stevanovic is live in Cairns. Katarina, the North is on flood watch tonight. Yes, Sam, an area stretching 700 kilometres north of Townsville, all the way, north of Cairns, I should say, all the way down to Townsville and Air is on high alert tonight. The flood alert is in place due to, because of the creeks and rivers, which are already swollen from the deluge. The Bureau is predicting destructive winds, heavy rainfall of up to 100 millimetres per day. In fact, we could see up to 400 millimetres of rainfall in the next 72 hours. That could cause flash flooding in some parts of the state tonight. There are extra emergency services on standby tonight as we face quite a nervous wait across the far north. Sam? It certainly is a nervous wait. Thank you, Katerina. Well, Ebony, when will we see some rain in the southeast? Well, a little bit later this week, Sam, the rain won't be quite as heavy as the falls that we're seeing up north, but we could expect to see some widespread falls. The Bureau is expecting that we could see about 10 to 15 millimetres pretty much anywhere across the southeast from midweek. Now, what is causing this? If we take a look at the isobars map, you can see that there is a trough in western Queensland. It's been moving through there for the last few days, bringing storm activity through for the last few days. Now it's now moving easterly towards us here in the southeast and the heaviest falls will hit us about that Wednesday, Thursday mark. Sam, I have more details on that rain for you a little bit later on in the weather report. Get the umbrellas ready. Thanks, Ebony.